Hello, guy. <coughs> I am not sick. That was like a, I don't know. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel again. Um, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but if you're seeing it now, clarity is up. Um, and by the title of this video, you guys know this is going to be my Christmas decor video. Um, I was planning to do, like I mentioned in my previous videos, like the whole fall decor stuff, but like... My timeline was just way too busy and there was just so much going on in my life that I did not feel like I could um, and I, to be honest, I wasn't 100% content with how my decor ended up like I liked it but it's not what I expected it to be if that makes sense so I'm not going to like pick up the camera and record something that I'm not 100% like, content about but anyways, enough about fall, we're jumping straight into Christmas now I am drinking some coffee, getting in the mood, I have a cute little outfit on to get me like more of the Christmas vibes and yeah so we're gonna go straight into decorating for christmas and by the way for everyone like wondering why everyone's decorating early for them i don't know like just let them be happy like let, let them enjoy their holiday season and being happy we had a rough year last year so we have to like go all out this year for me um we're not gonna be um home like for a lot of december so i love christmas so i wanted to decorate so i can enjoy it um we're gonna come back right in time for christmas but i want to enjoy it um the decor you know instead of just putting it up leaving it, and then coming back to it like i wanted to enjoy it so i'm whatever my reason like just let me be happy let me <laughs> decorate and yeah so enough talking and we're gonna go straight into the video so to start off i'm gonna show you guys um what my room looks like before nothing i already took away all of my fall stuff everything went in a box it's storage we're done and over with fall next year i'll probably enjoy it a lot longer but for this year we're done with fall going straight into christmas i took everything out my room is really plain uh boring now like just i honestly love the vibe of how it looks like just so clean and empty but we're gonna add a little bit of spice a little bit of christmas spirit to it and yeah so let's go ahead and get on started so before we get started, I just want to show you guys my outfit. It is super basic, honestly, and not that much to it, but I am drinking my coffee. This is a chestnut praline latte. They finally have them back in season, you guys. I'm here for the seasonal drinks. I love seasonal drinks. And yeah, this is one of my favorite ones for winter, and I was so sad when it went away because I didn't know it was a seasonal drink, but I'm so happy it is back. It is so good. Anyways, for my outfit, I'm wearing this cute little, like, bralette from Amazon, you guys. I have another video coming on Amazon, like, my favorites, like, for, like, outfit, like, not outfits, like, clothing and everything. Um, even for babies, like, I have, like, so much. I live off of Amazon, you guys. It is so crazy. And, like, I get, um, not tons of questions, you know, because, like, who knows me? But I get a couple here and there, like, of, like, why I wear it by this, why I buy that, like, even in person and stuff. So, um... I am planning to do a uh, Amazon video like my favorites like and just everything you know what I mean from like my clothing men's clothing kids and baby to um, toddler and infant clothing even like just like things around my house that are like so handy and Amazon is like the best thing ever you guys um, but anyways back into my outfit the bralette is from Amazon leggings you guys they are from Amazon and you guys these are like the best leggings ever definitely a lululemon um dupe but like for a quarter of the price you guys and some slippers also from amazon i've had these for like a year now and flannel is courtesy of my husband this is the shirt you guys it fits me super oversized but to be fair i did shrink it in the washer anything i want to keep that's my husband's you guys anything you guys like for your husband um shrink it in the dryer and then you guys have a new shirt but um yeah so this is what i'm wearing just to get in the you know like fall um christmas spirit but enough about my outfit let's go ahead and get started with the decor which is what all of you guys are here for so let's go ahead and get started i have all the decor i showed you guys in my last video um everything i got from hobby lobby and stuff so i have that there i have here's like what i had from last year this is not all of it you guys we have like two boxes outside full of stuff and i'm pretty sure my husband's missing another box if i'm not mistaken because i know i had way more than what i had i'm gonna just take out price tag I definitely like that better than how the other way I had it. But that's going to be the first thing. Um, I I wanted, I really wanted this red pillow for a room. Um, let's see how it looks. I'm 
Next was this huge blanket from Hobby Lobby. I don't know how big it is yet. I haven't opened it, but we'll see how big it is. So I'm trying to do Christmassy, but like I really loved how I said when I took off all the fall stuff, how decluttered. Because you guys know, you guys know with kids, like everything just ends up being so cluttered and like claustrophobic and like their toys are always all over the place so like even with like decor it just looks like too much sometimes that you just want to like not have anything anymore but um especially since we don't have like a de designated play area for them and it's like combined with the living room so like we always see their stuff mm. um and so yeah, like I loved how it looked, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna decorate. At first, I wanted to make it super full, but then I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna decorate like super minimal, like little Christmassy touches here and there, but maintain the minimalism of it so that we're not like overwhelmed by things. I think that's why my fall decor, like I loved it, but I didn't because I loved how full it was, but in a way, it was like too much. So, oh, I hope this looks really pretty. So, we're gonna go ahead and add that here. Cute little blanket. And, no sé si me guste así. Or, I have another idea. So, this is another blanket that I used last year. I've been really loving um, the white comforters, like the white on white vibe. Um, I feel like it just looks so clean and super cute. And it's more like they aren't strictly white, it's like a mixture between creams and whites which I've been really loving. So I'm gonna try some blanket layering here. This is why I didn't want my kids in here. So I literally, like I said, I deep cleaned, I washed all of our bed sheets, everything, and then look, look at this, you guys. Guess who's spaghetti fingers or a messy little kids? Like that. My kids. Whatever, I'll try to cover it with a little blanket. I got all these two. Um, I think it's cute. I think I like it. I'm not sure how I feel about the one underneath though. Um, Cause it, it's not white, it's like a cream. So I'm gonna try to pull it and like drape it down this way. And maybe once it's more this way, I like it. I think I got it. <clears throat> I think I got it and I think I'm happy with it. Well, you guys can't even see, but this is what and it's looking like. I honestly I think I'm already obsessed. I really love it. On top of there, I'm gonna um put um you'll see. You'll see what I'm like. Um I don't know if I should keep recording the room or I should just kind of finish it up real quick and then so alright guys, so I did a little bit off camera. Um, I was having a little difficulties putting the little garland DIY garland that I made last year for my bed. They're all like the three or six feet garland from Dollar Tree. I combined three to make it like a thicker look and then I fluff it out at the end because right now it's looking a little too. But I am so happy with what it looks like so far. Look. So we have our little throw blankie and I decided to keep this one. Like I said, it just adds like a little bit more texture to the bed and like makes it look full even though it's not overly in your face full but the texture just kind of adds that full look without being that full and we have our little sign up at the top and i added some of these um i forget the name of them but they're like the obviously like the christmas flower and then i don't know if to add a tree next to the li a little mini tree next to the little um uh flower pots they're actually like Dollar Tree mason jars that I spray painted. And then I added, so I added a regular command hook to hook that little thing there. And I just added these um, on each side so, I so that it just hooks on like that. And I'm going to do the other side. And I'm going to take off that bow because it doesn't match. And then I'm going to slide this over like this and then hug, I had tape there from the 
fall garland I had on here. Okay, and then we're gonna hook this side. Oh, if I can hook it. Where's the other I kind of. There we go. And then. See how cute that looks? And then I'll just like fluff it out a little bit. So I have to go to Dollar Tree because I had seen these um, open, open. I had seen these bows, like velvet red bows, but like I said, I don't like to purchase. I've run into that problem in the past where I purchase a lot of decor and then a lot of it I don't end up using because I have to um, return it because it doesn't go with the theme that I'm doing but I have very clear now not entirely at least in my room and my bathroom what I'm doing so I'm gonna run to Dollar Tree to pick up what I need and hopefully we'll be done today with the rooms at least my kids room and our room So we're at Walgreens because I ordered some pictures, prints, and I need to pick up my daughter's medicine. <sighs> I'm gonna check out and see if they have any decor, but I don't think they would, but we'll see. We are at Dollar Tree, and I think these would be cute in my kids' room. like already pre-made like this velvety material and I'm not sure if it was this one or the other one but it's like too late already I don't want to drive with the other one so I just bought some like um ribbon and I guess I'm gonna try to make them myself I've made them before like to match all my decor like the plaid ones so hopefully they come out as cute as I'm expecting them to be I'm thinking they're gonna I'm sure they're gonna be fine it's gonna be a little bit more time consuming because I have to make them but you know whatever I just know my vision it's gonna look so cute so minimal but so cute see at the same time but yeah so I'm on my home almost home now so it's almost like five minutes I got my pictures they look so pretty I hope the quality yeah they're gonna be so cute um because we have like no big family porches anymore I took down my Christmas one from last year because it's outdated Alrighty, you guys so a whole day later almost and I am finally done with the room. I'm so excited to show you guys. I am absolutely in love with how it turned out. It is super, 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 super minimal, um, but very cute nonetheless. I probably one of my, I was, I can't believe I didn't do this last year, but um, as you guys know, everything tends to add up. And like we had brought in curtains and everything that I wanted for like the springtime and then again for like the fall. But now I feel like I have everything. And like I wanted to go all out in the previous years with like all red and this and that. And like, I realized that you don't have to do that much to like get it to look super super cute um but yeah i am super excited so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a review of my room so once i get me start right here and i'm gonna go over all the details um so right here are my curtains i got these little bows from the dollar store and i feel like they matched in just like the perfect enough of like green and everything and now we hold over to our dresser and you guys it is so cute. I really love how simple yet cute it looks in here. The other curtain. And then for my mirror that I have in my room, I just put that little thing up there. And all these little things are stuck with like little Dollar Tree command clear hooks. Same as that one up there. But look how like it just adds like that little pop of Christmas. Oh. Now I go over to my bed area and look at how cute that looks. I'm so obsessed with how simple, how cute. Got the blanket. I added the second pillow there. Over here we have the little flowers. My little sign. And yeah, I am just so obsessed with how pretty that looks. It is so cute. 
and so simple and like it makes just everything look so cute and clean now for my restroom i didn't do that much by the way my tapetes are drying because i told you like i deep cleaned yesterday so i washed everything and for this little section i have like my little skincare stuff i have this little empty cup um i need to wash it but i got this from the dollar store as well oh so the blanket again the blanket was from hobby lobby hobby lobby um these little mason jar things again i bought them on the dollar store like in the summer or fall time and i just spray painted them white and these flowers are also from the dollar store my little garland thing all three of these are three together little garlands from the dollar tree and i just wrapped them twisted them together and then like spread them open and everything is held by command hooks on each side in the middle that sign is from hobby lobby also being held by a dollar tree command hook and i added the little berries um i didn't call it holly something i don't know but all that little middle stuff is also from the dollar tree i just cut it up and placed it there so that was really everything and here this was from hobby lobby hobby lobby i believe this one was five dollars and this no walmart and walmart these were five and this was seven dollar store and dollar store and back into the bathroom um this was from dollar store again this i believe was from walmart 2.99 these little flowers dollar tree little vase i think charlie had gifted me flowers in that before i don't know um i don't know about this you guys so i left it here because i don't know where to put my crystals but is this bad luck to have crystals under running water let me know here this i had this for years i think i believe i purchased this a set of three of these from the thrift store like a long time ago like when i first got married along with this little um thing so they actually came like that but they were like separados you know but this was thrifted like three years ago this is also from walmart i bought this last year and this was five dollars and then up here i have the same little circle thing as with the candle but i just held it up there with little wire just for like an extra little touch of christmas and then over here don't mind the laundry we need to do and the toilet paper my son is barato over here we have two little christmas trees those are from walmart i purchased those last year as well and that little truck also from a lot of store that i purchased last year um and yeah like i just keep toilet paper here because come on it's a bathroom and then for my towels i believe this was from target or walmart i'm not sure but i purchased them last year and this is from ray dunn i believe i got this from marshall's last year as well i literally recycle everything so like reuse it so yep and that's what the bathroom looks like it's super cute super simple and yeah like over the top or like oh my god but i think it looks good Oh, nice blows, little trees. Wow, oh, it's good. But it's not too much, right? It's not like overwhelming. Uh -huh. I wanted to keep like the white and like a little bit of like red. I like it. But it's not like too too like oh, the bathroom stuff too, yeah, like, and like, full. It's just like little things. And it took me all day for this. Well, no, just the bows. <laughs> <laughs> just the bows. I was, day, I was. So dripping straight to the kids room, I'm gonna voice this part over just because my kids were being really loud that day But all I put was that little sign that you guys saw And on Angel's bed, um, the little stuffed animals from the dollar store Pillowcases from Amazon, all the bedding is actually from Amazon um, Those obviously from the dollar store, you guys saw when I picked those up, but look how cute their room looks you guys it's honestly one of my favorite yes that picture frame was from hobby lobby i put that little picture of them it looks so cute and all that is from a dollar store except for the little santa claus little bucket with diapers must have in the room i wish she was such a baby I decided to show you guys just like a little, uh, um, what's it called, whole like layout show out of the room, how I have it like half and half of both of them. Um, my vision was to have those three pictures, you know, and split the room in half where they meet in the middle, obviously, for both of them. But this is Ariela's mini crib. I 
kind of mixed in the pinks in there with her, you know, Christmas theme just to make it a little bit more girly. And yeah, I already showed you guys I already showed you guys my son's room and now we're gonna see Angel's second reaction to his room. <gasps> oh that the baby. It's all done. All done? It's good. Te gusta? It's, it's nice? It's cute? It's cute. Y mira, ¿qué es eso? Mira, ¿quién es? ¿Quién es? Es Christmas. ¿Dónde está R? R. N. R. P. Es E. Este es E. Eh, mira, ¿dónde está Adriel? ¿Y Ariela?